We will stick to a different assignment and that one's going to be the forecast. It's been pretty gloomy and gray. I'm actually showing you here visible satellite imagery. So we're not even talking about the idea of rainfall mixed in the image you're seeing on your screen. It's purely cloud cover and you can see it from start to finish. Northeast Ohio has been locked in the clouds today. Have we have moments that maybe hinted at some of the sunshine trying to peek out? Yes, but it's been pretty overcast, but that's a telltale sign just across the Buckeye State based on where our temperatures perform today. Northeast Ohio, we've been stuck in the 60s, just shy of 70 for a lot of you, but not only uh, do we have 70s on the map, we're close to 80 still in Dayton down to Cincinnati, Fort Wayne, Indiana at almost 80 degrees still. That's the beauty of sunshine shine or cloud cover on a day like today. If we didn't have the clouds, it would have looked a lot like we did yesterday and we had so much sunshine to go around. You can kind of get an idea based on our regional temperature spread that there's uh, two areas that kind of stick out like a sore thumb. That's part of the northeast and then up through the northern plain states. There's the shade of green there and not only are we talking about cooler temperatures, but that's where some of our most active uh, systems actually lie. So everyone else is close to 80 degrees, if not in the 80s from St. Louis to Memphis to Atlanta and kind of everywhere in between. But those two systems have had a huge grip on the weekend forecast for those locations. The northeast, this area low is actually remnant of what Ophelia was. Ophelia was a tropical storm. It made landfall yesterday early morning to North Carolina. It then became a tropical depression as it weakened. It is still bringing rainfall the locations through the Big Apple all the way up to Boston too. Our next system is at the mercy as to how quickly this one wants to move. So if the next few days feel like the movie Groundhog's Day, well, that's what it's going to be like. We're not only going to repeat basically our temperature, but we repeat also the actual sky condition. We've got a chance of some wet weather here and there. Our average high is in the low 70s, so we're not too far off for the next five days, but we're slightly below normal. And the thing also on top of it, we bring in some rain chances, but for the year so far, we're below half of an inch. For Cleveland and last year we had over three and a half inches and we average this is usually the rainiest month. We are not talking about a whole lot of rainfall in your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast until we hit maybe Wednesday and Thursday. The chance is a little bit bigger then we're back with more sunshine Friday, Saturday and even Sunday.